welcome back to my channel, Ming Vienna. My name is Mandy and I am a full-time reseller. Today I am going to do an unboxing of ThreadUp 15 pairs of shoes. If you don't know what ThreadUp is, it's an online consignment thrift store type of deal where people send in their clothing and shoes and accessories for them to sell. And sometimes they make it into these boxes if they're missing a size tag, if they're damaged, if they're men's um or they just didn't sell within a certain time frame and then you can buy these boxes on their website for a discounted price so this one did come during their 20 percent off winter sale i will put on the screen how much i paid for it i can't remember i'm assuming i had credit for the whole box but maybe i didn't i did actually have to open this last night when i got it as you saw from the thumbnail this box was like completely damaged on one side and I think we all know that ThreadUp can be a little shady, so I wanted to make sure that there were the 15 pairs in this box, like, as soon as it was dropped off at my house. So if I needed to send photos or whatever, I could do that, like, right away to ThreadUp so I could get my money back. Um, thankfully, everything was in here. I don't know who taped that up, if FedEx did, or it would seem kind of not the greatest customer service and presentation if ThreadUp you know, taped it up like that, just put it in a new box. I don't know. Regardless, I'm very happy with what's in here. So first up were the only pair that I think I'm just going to have to end up tossing. They are torrid. I wish that they were okay, but as you can see right here, this is like all peeling apart. These are a size 12 and a half wide. It's kind of like a caged sandal. So unfortunately, I'm just going to throw them away. I thought about throwing them in my rummage sale, but I just don't even know how someone would fix that. You'd have to glue that back down and then like pin everything. So I think these are just trash. And I will put comps on the screen for items that I'm keeping so that you have an idea of how much I'm going to potentially make back. These are Mark Fisher. I believe they're the LTD, which is a little bit lower line. They are red. They do have some damage on the inner part there, like the person's foot was probably too wide that wore them um yeah i mean they're pretty damaged comps looked okay for these the bottoms are pretty worn so i might just throw these in my rummage sale these i didn't look up comps for they are express some of it is leather they're a size eight i'm assuming women's size eight just like these leather sneakers um depending on what the comps are i didn't look these up like i said I will probably sell these myself if they don't do well after a while, maybe try Play-Dohs. These are a size men's eight and a half, a women's 10. Unfortunately, they do have quite a bit of color transfer here. I am going to try and see what I can do with my suede brush. I don't know if I'm able to do much, but these are a pair of Vans. There's a, these are a cool colorway, red, white, and blue. I did just get done saying I wasn't really wanting to sell Vans anymore, but they come in a box like this i don't have a problem doing that next is a pair of j crew heels just like these tan they um they do buckle here at the ankle they're not leather or anything there is just a little bit of damage here so i will look at the look at the comps on these they are a size nine these I'm guessing I'm going to do Play-Dohs. I'm going to clean them up a little bit. They are just Nautica, just a little sneaker. These are a pair of Cole Haan, just little suede mules. They are a seven and a half, great condition, just need to be brushed out a little bit. So I'm pretty happy about these. Another pair of Vans. These are just those traditional black slip-ons. They need to be rolled off, but otherwise they're in pretty good condition. Just a little bit of cleaning. They're a men's six and a half, a women's eight. This is a pair of Talbot flats. Um, this is real suede on the outside. It does have this little like tortoise shell. I don't even know what you want to call that embellishment. The only issue with these, there is some cracking here on the inside. If you can see that. And these are a size eight and a half. So if anything, I might just throw these up for fairly cheap. I mean, the outside looks good. It's just that little bit of cracking and peeling on the inside. These I thought were super cool. I've never heard of this brand before. I believe it's called 
but another innocent tale and these are meant to look like vintage little heels like these little wingtip detail here and it's like a what's a magenta fuchsia maybe um with just this little tiny heel and these are a size 10. These I thought were pretty interesting. Um, I don't know much about this. I looked up comps. They looked okay. Donald Pliner, I believe is how you pronounce his name. Let's see. You can probably see the bottom better. These, I don't even quite understand what they are. It's like a lace-up thing with this textured material, but it almost looks like a construction boot on the bottom. Weirder things like this seem to do well, so I will probably list these. These are a seven and a half. The next one, these are in like new condition. I, I have heard that combat boots are kind of making their way out of style. I don't know that they ever will. I think that there are a group of people that really do um, like to wear them. So these are a pair of Tahari. They are black. They have a buckle detail, kind of chunky. Lace up the bottoms here. I will take all these stickers off. And they are a size seven and a half, all man-made. These originally, when I saw them in the bottom, I was hoping that they were Doc Martens, but they are Michael Kors, still pretty chunky. Uh, they do have a little heel to them. They're a size nine. I didn't see a style name in here, so I will have to look at these a little bit. Just kind of had this cool detail here around the toe. I think it's all the way around the bottom. So these are pretty cool. So you're probably wondering, like, why do you think this box is so great? Because <laughs> you guys haven't seen anything, like, super amazing. So with the combat boots that I hoped were Doc Martens, well, I would prefer to take, I think, these Doc Martens over a pair of boots, since we are going into summer. These are a size, I think they were a seven, because if they would have been an eight, I would have potentially kept them. Yeah, these are a size seven. They're like the patent leather platform chunky sandals. So I'm pretty excited about these. So if I were to ask for another pair of sandals that aren't Doc Martens, what would I really want? And those would be a pair of Birkenstocks. So I'm pretty excited about these two. They're a size 40, very, very minimal wear at all on these. So these, the Doc Martens, definitely have paid for this box, if not more. The combat boots I think will do well. Sometimes Michael Kors boots are pretty expensive. So everything in this box besides the Torrid shoes and the Mark Fisher um, little flats, and I guess the Talbots have been in really good shape. There's not a bunch of damage. I will say, um, personally me in the last hmm, six months or so of me getting shoe boxes, it seems like the quality has gone up. Maybe not brand so much, but just, um, you know, how damaged shoes are. There's been times in the past where I've gotten things that are just like disintegrating and are just completely no longer wearable. Where those Torrid sandals, they maybe missed that. Like they, it could have been together when they put it in the box and then in transit, it just kind of peeled apart. So I'm not mad about that. This box I am definitely happy with. I'm really excited about those Doc Martin sandals. I've never sold that style before. So yeah, if you ask me when I get this box again, a million times I would. I love getting the shoe box. I'm still a little hesitant on the jean box just with the last one I had, but you live and learn. Maybe I will hold out here and see if I can get my hands on one of the designer boxes. We'll see. If you enjoy videos like this, unboxings, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I do have a Helps You Source box coming. I've never gotten anything from that company before, so I'm a little nervous just because I have seen people get things and sometimes everything is like really old and not current. So we'll see. I did get the men's uh, box just because I think you have a little bit more leeway when it comes to current styles and men. I also got that box just because my Play-Dohs is always looking for men's wear and as long as it's somewhat stylish, they seem to take it. So I had that kind of in the back of my mind that if I needed to offload some of it, I could bring it there. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give the video a like as you go. It really helps out the channel and I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. Bye!